Hello, my name is Katie Short, and I am the Director of Learning Solutions at the Instructional Design Company. Um, and just to give you a little intro at IDC, we continually strive to share our experiences as we have transitioned into instructional design and use that to help others that want to do the same thing through helping them build their skills and especially through our instructional design and tech accelerator uh, certificate program. So Shantae is our fearless leader. And just like her, I was a teacher before making this transition into instructional design. And I taught middle school and high school social studies. And I wanted a different career and I didn't really know how to do that or what was out there. Um, so not only did I find instructional design, but I also found Shantae is my in my first instructional design job as a training specialist. And I feel so fortunate to be here with you and also to continue to help others to find their place and uh, build their skills in this amazing field. So I want to, without any further ado, I want to bring on our co-host for the day, which is Star Peterson. Hello, Star. Thank you so much. Oh, and you have a guest there too, I oh, see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, instructional design, working from home, your pets get spoiled. Yes. I do not goodness. accept you leaving. I'm like, You're here to take care of me, right? There's oh. no priorities. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you for joining both of you. Thank you for joining <laughs> Um, Star is also a former teacher who currently works as a freelance instructional designer, e-learning developer, and a diversity trainer. So today we'll be walking through all the features, possibilities that you can use uh, with animated video using the program Biteable, and so how you can kind of use that in your future career as an instructional designer or in your current career as you're building your skills. Just as a note, if you haven't gotten a chance to see our last episodes with Star, um, the last time um, they were here, they walked through Beyond. We have two actually parts to using Beyond as an animated video. Um, so you can, use, you can drop in and see those in our YouTube channel. So as we get started, Star, uh, what would you say is your favorite thing about using Biteable uh, for animated video? It is just so quick to make. Um, they've got great templates. You don't have the kind of uh, versatility that you have with Beyond, but I would say it takes me between two to four hours to create a single minute of Beyond animation, whereas Biteable, it's a fraction of that. And mm -hmm. you know, you can get a subscription for just a month, make a bunch of videos for your portfolio, throw them into your ILT, your e-learning, and, you know, versus what is it, $700 a year for Beyond? Yeah. Yeah. So much more economical, probably, as you're kind of building your experience. Um, so awesome. I will. I can't wait to get started and learn more from you today. All right. So this is the Biteable homepage. Um, start just telling you a few things you can use it for. Um, I, use, I tend to use Beyond when I need an animated video displaying like a conversation. Um, if you have a lot of text to share, let's say in a rise or a storyline course, uh, I don't like to give people huge blocks of texts. You know, learners just, do they just get tired of that? They don't pay as much attention. Uh, Biteable is a great way to throw some of that text in there to explain things. Um, and again, it just, it adds a, a more versatile element to your e-learning. So super easy to make one of these, throw it into your RISE course, throw it into your storyline. Um, I've done, um, and I made instruction, instructor-led training for therapists, and we created a little intro video for the beginning of every section. So uh, Biteable, you just start at the new video and name it. Um, I always use 16 by nine. So that's the standard. Uh, they have tons and tons of templates. I have never made a video without their templates. They're just that helpful. Um, some of these you can personalize for your client's brand colors. Um, if you're making something for your portfolio, you might want to think about uh, choosing a color, you know, something that you can personalize with your own brand colors. But so you, you come here and you choose a category. 
Um, all the animation is pre-made, so you don't have to have any knowledge of animation. You're literally picking the scenes, putting them in the order that you want them, and adding the text. Uh, now, what I tend to do is start with, obviously, whatever the idea is that the client has. Um, for example, I was doing um, diversity training for uh, weirdest client ever for um, uh, a person who has raves and he wanted um, all of his staffs for the raves to have uh, before they did the raves to have uh, diversity training. So, all right, we've got a lot of content to give. So I start with the idea and usually give the um, give the client a few a few different sorts of templates to choose from. Like you can see here all sorts of different types of art. So you can have the claymation, um, you can have kind of the cartoon characters. They all have a very different feel. Um, you know, some of them are more playful and fun. Um, one thing I you do want to pay attention to is how many templates they have for each one, because it really doesn't look good if you mix and match templates. So like I've never used tropical backgrounds. It's cute. It's a little too wild for me for anything professional. And again, there's just not that many templates to choose from. Um, so I, so I um, have made a bunch of different videos for my portfolio. Um, again, customers don't know it's easy. <laughs> um, I have on my, um, on my website, I have a bunch of different biteable videos, really short ones, but then a customer can go and say like, oh yeah, I like this style or, oh, you know, no, I like this kind of, you know, I like this kind of animation. Um, and you can use a wide variety, you know, in, um, your different portfolio pieces. I do recommend within a single e-learning or a single ILT, stick with the same style of animation or it's going to look a little messy. Um, so if you're going to use Frank the Explainer, you know, use that, use those videos throughout the whole thing. But I'll show you how I create it. So I, I choose, you know, I have the client choose what kind of, um, uh, what kind of, you know, animation they're looking for. Um, if you're making something for your portfolio, one thing I did that was super easy was to just make some videos advertising my business. Um, that's a great thing to put on your homepage uh, for your portfolio to kind of make yourself stand out from other people. There are people who put their resume, some of their resume highlights into video form. So I encourage you to just, just go for it. Don't worry about, oh, I need, a, I need to research some advanced topic on sales, just make a video to show that you know how to make them. Um, so I might say, uh, okay, I'm making a video to advertise my instructional design um, services. So I just, I just kind of play around, honestly, and look at what I've got. So, all right, this one says weigh in the options. So maybe I'm going to say, um, oh, are you trying to weigh the options for advertising your business? Um, and then, you know, you pick the, pick the next scene. So for this one, I might say, um, stellar instructional design, um, can give you the, the stellar service that you're looking for. Um, I might throw this in and just say, um, are you trying to navigate the maze of options for advertising your business? So really you just kind of play with whatever the pictures are and make it work for whatever your message is. Um, so once you've got what got those, uh, you put your, you can insert your text. Uh, you've got lots of options for text size and for font family. Um, now you cannot upload um, custom fonts to my knowledge. So that is one thing that's, you know, not an option if you've got uh, brand guidelines, but everything else, you can move your text boxes. Um, you can change the colors. Uh, now with this particular animation set, um, the, you can't change the colors of anything here in the background. You can change the color of the text. Um, uh, you go down to the slides here. If you can see the timeline here, you can decide how long you want each slide to be. That's super simple to customize. Um, the length of each slide is gonna depend on how much text you've got there. Uh, now, once you have all of your slides in place, uh, you, it's really easy to choose a soundtrack. 
I had someone ask me if they could use voiceover, and I honestly haven't tried that yet, but I don't see why you couldn't use a program like Camtasia maybe um, and combine your voiceover with some music and upload it here. Um, so what, everything I've made so far, I've just used their standard music. Um, so you basically end up with just some music in the background and some texts and cute pictures on every page. Uh, the nice thing about their templates is that if you, uh, I'm going to show you how to make one with using someone's brand. Uh, so, okay, this is the one I used for the Rave clients. Um, you can go to the templates and um, after you've picked out what you want, like, okay, I'm going to have this slide and then this slide. Um, I'm going to say, reach for the stars when you're advertising your business or let us help you build your business, you know, whatever. Um, you, once you go on here, you can uh, change the background colors on, again, not on all the animations, but on this style, style you can. Uh, you can change color filters on some of them. So, you know, you just put in whatever the hex code is for your client's brand guidelines. Um, so it's, you know, it's super simple. Uh, I would keep in mind the basic principles of graphic design, um, just like you would for any e-learning. Uh, so you know, usually for brand guidelines, you'll have a few different colors to choose from. Not always, but um, a lot of times you'll have some play in terms of what's going to be the primary color and what's going to be the background color. Um, keep in mind that your contrast between two colors uh, is going to give you the most bang for your buck and make it the easiest for people to read. Um, one basic principle of graphic design is looking at the color wheel and combining colors on opposite side of the cover, color wheel. So yellow and uh, yellow and purple are on opposite sides. So this combination looks really good. Um, I do a lot of, uh, I have blue and orange inside my um, uh, brand colors. So I might, oh, that's a horror shade of blue, not that shade of blue, but you get the idea. So I might go and um, just type my, my hex codes in here again and play with it. So I would look at it. All right. Um, uh, let's see if this is my background color, uh, what color do I want my animation? Um, and then you can, you know, try it the other way around. Like, okay, what if I put my client's brand colors in the other way? What if we have um, blue accents and the background is orange or the animation's orange? Um, we do another shade of orange for the background. Um, you know, I might look and say, okay, well, that to me, that's too bright. That hurts my eyes. So I liked it better with um, the brighter color, like the orange as the accent and um, the blue in the background. So again, you even with brand guidelines, you've got some room to play. And then, yeah, once you've, it's really just as simple as adding your text. Now you can make uh, videos for free on Biteable, um, but they will have a watermark. So my recommendation for your portfolio, once you've gotten all the basic pieces of your portfolio together, right? You've got your, your storyline, your rise, your ILT, um, get on a free account and uh, make, you know, make videos that you, you know, to, to throw in here and there. Even if you just want to have direct links to videos, I, I would, I would definitely include some in your e-learning, right? You want to show that because you want your portfolio items to be the very best of your e-learning. So showing that you can give the customer, you know, that little bit of some extra, something extra special by adding animation, you definitely want to show that. So I encourage you pick some styles you like, um, find a way to incorporate them in, you know, at least one of your portfolio pieces, maybe make a simple little video to introduce your business or to highlight your resume. Um, and throw that on your portfolio website as well. And then um, you can sign up for just a month for a hundred bucks and download as much as you want for a month without the watermark. So again, if, if you're on a budget, totally understand that you don't want to, you know, pay for a year's worth of a service. You know, you might also already be paying for Storyline or Beyond or 
So get the free version, make all the, the videos that you want, and then upgrade it just for a month. Download them all. Um, again, you can download on the free version, but it'll have the biteable white watermark. Personally, I feel like that doesn't look super professional. I think it's worth, you know, just that one time pay for it for a month um, and download what you need. Um, I, I like this as a kind of a fun alternative to PowerPoint. If I need to present in you know, a lot of information. Um, again, I have, I've never used the voiceover with it. So it's always just kind of a fun, you know, fun beat in the background and it goes through um, each of the different slides. Um, but yeah, that's again, it's it's really that simple. Um, I can make them again in the fraction of the amount of time it takes me to make a Vyond video. I I still love Vyond. I don't, you know, as you can see, you don't make your own characters here. There's definitely a limit to your creativity. Um, and so there are certain things that I would only use Vyond for. But um, again, a lot of times if a customer is on a budget, and they don't really, you know, a lot of times they don't understand how much these things cost or if they're if they're set on videos, but they're not able to, have, you know, afford the amount of time it's going to take me to make a beyond video. And um, then I often suggest these. Um, and again, the, your typical customer isn't going to realize how easy this is to make. So I have a bunch of different biteable videos on my portfolio. And again, it, may, it looks it looks great. I've got more portfolio items. They're eye catching. Um, you know, people like multimedia. And really, it was really quick and simple to make. I loved like the claymation. It looks so cool. Like it looks so um, professional to have just a quick little uh, view. And I also love the tip about building your portfolio, having like pieces of that, uh, pieces of what you do, or even parts of your resume to animate that and have that on your portfolio website. What a great, great tip. Thank you, Star, for, for coming back and, and guest hosting with us again. Um, keep working on developing your skills. Keep accelerating, everyone. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can get um, access to all of our previous sessions with star and any of our other accelerated id episodes so thank you everyone uh feel free to come back we'll have another training in a couple weeks so i'll see you then bye, bye.